had a picture of the car of him in 1954 when it was parked. You know, we had it, it was taken there. He had me and my dad, you know, pretend pose the same that him and his buddy were posing back then. But that car was a lot better back then. <laughs> it was inside, you know. I mean, even though it was inside, they, I heard that there was quite a few cats and mice <laughs> living in the thing. And so I got it home and I started cleaning everything out and I started filling up trash cans, big, just full of stuffing and mice and nests and droppings and all that nasty stuff. And so I. And he gave me an engine to go in the car because the engine that was in the car had been completely disassembled and it was, I mean, yeah. there wasn't much hope for that. So he gave me another engine. Well, actually, he let me pick. So he had this whole wall of engines just lined up against the back of the car. And like, well, that one's like, that one ran a few years ago. I'm like, oh, wow, well, that, look, that thing needs a whole bunch of parts. Look at that one. And that one was all complete. It was a little rusty. And that's sort of where I made the bad decision because this engine, even though it had all the parts, I started taking it apart and everything. And it's looking at one of those mice nests. <laughs> Dropped the oil pan off, a whole bunch of mice nests came out and everything. Finally got the whole thing disassembled and it's all mice nests everywhere and of course the uh, uh, mice um, doesn't, doesn't really agree with metal. And everything was frozen solid. And so we had to take a hammer and got whipped out and pissing and smash it. And finally got a few things to come and then that's when I, you know, I started I was volunteering around here more often in that period. I met a guy that volunteered two years ago called Warren Kincaid. He said, man, you got a model T? Everything like, yeah. It turns out he was secretary for the club and he has, he used to restore model T's for business. So he came over and took a look at this thing and, you know, it's like, man, that thing's solid. I showed him the engine. <laughs> and the engine in the car was much better. And he says, you know what, um, you can come over to my shop. I have an engine that hasn't run in about 30 years, but it was running when it came out of the car. So I went over and looked at it. Wow, you know, I can't believe you can give this thing. I have on this car, I had so much given to me. as hell. I, mean, I couldn't. I still, this car has still been on metal on rims and had the rusty old engine. I mean, I'm still working on it to this day. I've only had it for all of six or seven months here. So, but I got a lot of help from people. and. Um, so he gave me that engine and sit for 30 years. I invited about 10 guys over from the museum. We, uh, it took us about a day. We got it running. We got it running and stuff. I bought some parts that I needed, some money for the lawn on with the old tap tractors that I restored. But, so we got it running and I was so excited and whatnot. And from then on, it was just like, hey, come over this weekend and work on it. And we just kept on working on it. Eventually, we got the engine ready and we got the car. We got it at 7 in the morning at the house. And we got a tractor and lifted the engine out and everything, the old engine, and we put the new one in, and I started driving around and everything, so I was really excited. But it was a, to make a lot of things popped up during that. It took all, it took the whole weekend because everything popped up. So it turns out because when we start running the engine on the standwalk, we start hearing this noise. I don't know. We turn, then we shut it off, turn it over, slow, clank, clank, clank. So. Ooh. So we were, you know, we were all excited when we put the engine in the car, so I had to take it apart and we didn't really, we took off the transmission cover. That's where it sounded that was coming from. One thing about these cars is that the engine and transmission is all one unit. There's all the oil pan, is the transmission, the top, you know, it's all connected and it's like, huh, this is not awesome. And then we started you know, filming some things, that transmission had about an inch of play in everything. It's so like, oh, I don't know if I want to put that in the car. So it turns out the transmission that was on the engine that was in this car was good.